Hey guys, what's up? This is Dan from danstevers.com and uh, I've got just a quick little tutorial for you guys today. Um, I'm calling it hinging type and uh, this is a technique where it kind of looks like your text kind of hinges and then kind of wiggles and uh, uh, pivots on that and uh, it's kind of a fun way to uh, use a transition to bring text in because it has a lot of movement into it. It's kind of fun. Uh, it works for fun kind of videos and um, I think I got one open here, so let me uh, show you. This is a Christmas video that I did, and um, you'll see in it uh, the use of this technique here. Now you notice this type, how it kind of uh, it pivots, it hinges on the top of it, like there, and then it kind of bounces a little bit. Um, so this is what we're going to be looking at, that text, um, how it kind of pivots on the top, falls down, and then kind of uh, wiggles a little bit. And uh, yeah, so let's just hop into After Effects here and have some fun. Okay, uh, so first thing I'm going to do is, uh, I think I'm going to just kind of make something that looks sort of like that video there. So I've got this paper texture here, and uh, this is from the Riot Gear collection uh, from Video Copilot. This is one of the paper textures on there. So I'm just going to drop it in. Uh, we'll just add a curves adjustment to it. See if we can get it that green color. Uh, I'm going to bring down the white value on this because I want it to be pretty dark. Uh, let's see here. I'm going I'm to drop the red. And then I'm also going to drop the blue here so we can get just like a a nice green color and uh, let's go and tweak that a little bit uh, that's good enough for now okay so let's get our type in here I'll select our type tool uh, we're gonna type something that's totally rad so let's type totally rad <laughs> and uh, Let's make it a uh, kind of that cream color uh, that our type was in, in the video there. Uh, there we go. That'll do. Okay. So right now, uh, oh yeah, let's uh, let's make it 3D. Um, so we'll go down here and we'll click on this little 3D icon there. Makes it 3D. If we hit R now while having our um, our type selected, it'll flip down our rotation values here. Now, uh, the X rotation is what we're looking at. So if I if I uh, take this and adjust it already, you can already see that we're kind of getting what we want already. So we want it we want to start up here and then fall down and then wiggle a little bit like that. Um, now, we don't necessarily have to have it going from the top. I think my wife's bird is making a lot of noise right now. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, we can also uh, select the anchor point up here or the pan behind tool and move our anchor point anywhere we want. Uh, so we could have it be from the bottom and we can move it to the bottom of the type and then we could have it uh, come in like that. But I think for this, I like the look of it uh, flipping down rather than up. So. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this is what happens when you uh, marry someone, you adopt their pets as well. So that's my wife's cockatiel saying hi. Um, okay, so uh, let's uh, set a keyframe here for the X rotation. And uh, where we're going to have this start is where I want it to be like almost so you can't even see it. So we're going to do it right there at like negative 88. But that's going to depend on where you have the type as to where the angle of where it basically disappears is. Uh, so I'm going to zoom in here. Um, we'll go to like a half of a second. Okay, so the trick in doing this is that we want to over rotate the first one. Um, See, because if we brought it down to zero, then that would be, uh, you know, perfectly level. But we actually want to over-rotate it because we want it to start up here and then over-rotate. We want it to, like, flip a little bit backwards here. So uh, I'll do it, like, 15 or so. And uh, so for the next one, we want it to, we want it to be kind of wiggling as it... Uh, at, at, like wiggling on the hinge as it falls down. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this back and we're going to make it come forward a bit. 
Now the trick is, uh, so we're starting at 15 as the first one here. It's going 15 degrees backwards, and then it's going to come, uh, let's say, like negative 8 forward. And then let's say it'll come something like 3 back. And you can see what we're doing. It's starting at, it's going to 15, and then negative 8, and then 3, and then let's take this to like negative 1. And, and then uh, we'll go to 0 after that. So you can see what we're kind of splitting the difference as we, as we uh, so we start at plus 15, we'll go to negative 8, and then we'll go to 3, and then we'll negative 1, and 0 there. Uh, next step here uh, is we can um, do a RAM preview, and you'll see uh, right now it's it's looking a little jerky here, and that's because we don't have our uh, easy ease keyframes on. So I'm going to select all these uh, keyframes here, all but the first one. We don't need to ease that one, and I am going to right click on it and go to keyframe assistant and go to easy ease, and uh, select that. And now if we play this, okay, so now you can see we're getting that effect that we want where it, uh, where it looks like it's pivoting off a hinge up here and uh, kind of flopping around as it comes down. Uh, first thing, I, I think I'll have it, uh, uh, let's see, like wiggling back and forth a little bit more as it comes down. So I'm going to bump this up to like, 22 for the first one, which means I'm going to have to bump up these other ones just, just a little bit. Uh, negative 12. Uh, we'll put that at like 5. And then we should be good to go here. So I just wanted to see, I want to see the, the pivoting more. Okay, now it, it's looking good, but I think everything is going a little bit slow on it. So I'm going to select all these keyframes and um, let's see, I think it's Alt here. Yeah, if you hold down Alt and you select the very first or very last keyframe, this is a pretty cool technique to uh, make your animations longer or shorter. You can just grab the head or or, uh, or I can grab the, the front here and I can squish it all that way. Uh, so I'm going to make this all happen just a little bit quicker. So I'm going to speed it up there. Now let's see how we're looking. Okay, this is looking pretty cool. Uh, well, one other thing we're going to want to do is here uh, is we're going to want to add motion blur to this so it looks a little more realistic. So I'm going to click the motion blur icon for our text layer. I'm going to click click the motion blur for our um, comp, and you'll see already a little bit of motion blur there. Let's check what our motion blur settings are. So we'll go up to composition settings, and we'll turn it up to like 250 or so just so because I want to see that blur right now I'll do a preview here okay well I think this looks totally rad I don't know about you um, now uh, a cool thing about doing this hinging right here is um, let's say I didn't want it to hinge from the top here what about if I wanted it to hinge from the middle and I wanted it um, pivoting from the middle point here rather than the top. That's a pretty easy fix there. We just make sure we have our pan behind tool selected. We're going to grab that anchor point. We're going to um, put it in the middle of the uh, of the text here. Now if I do a RAM preview, you'll notice that totally rad is, um, is it's hinging from the center point rather than the top. And uh, so that's a cool thing about this is is if you're not liking how your your hinging is looking dropping down, you can try it from the middle here, and uh, we can actually try it from the bottom here too. Um, so now it's going to hinge from the bottom. Pretty cool, right? Uh, it's fun to be able to try different looks like that without actually having to redo all the keyframes there, which is uh, a nice thing about this technique here. Now you'll notice uh, in in this video that. I have it so the words, I, you'll, you'll notice that the words are hinging at a different timing there. Um, Christmas and then drops and then tree drops. Uh, so let's do that. I'll show you how you do that. It's, it's pretty easy. Um, I'm going to grab our mask tool here. I'm going to draw a mask around totally. I am going to duplicate this layer. Hit M to fold down the masks. And uh, this one I'm going to set to subtract. So this is the rad layer. 
I'll just rename them so that's rad and that's totally is that how you spell totally? I hope so. Um, okay, so uh, I'm going to hit U to fold down the keyframes on both of these guys. So I want the totally to fall like two keyframes. Let's try two keyframes before the rad falls. So I'm going to select this rad layer and I'm going to drop it back two keyframes. And uh, it should be just as easy to, as that to, uh, to get these flipping up at different speeds. And uh, it, it it makes it look a little more fun, I think, when both uh, look. It looks more organic this way when both words are um, are flipping up separately here. Um, I've had projects where I've where I've gotten even more. Um, <laughs> I guess I'll say anal than this, uh, and I've actually done it. I'm going to delete this mask here so I can show you guys what I'm talking about. I've actually done it where I've uh, masked out each letter here and then I've had each letter flip up. Um, I'm sure you could do this with like expressions and you could animate this with the type tools and stuff but honestly I, I don't really like doing that way. I, I guess I do, I do it the long way here. I'm gonna duplicate this. I'm gonna move the mask over. Uh, I've never had a problem with tedious tasks, you know. I guess that was one of my gifts as a kid. Did not mind tedious stuff. I hope that your gift is that you don't mind watching it. So, <laughs> okay. So, uh, so I have these, I have these guys uh, masked out here. I'm gonna do the same thing I did before. I'm gonna hit U to fold down the keyframes here. Uh, I don't need this window here. Okay. So I'm gonna have, I'm gonna space out each letter so they're flipping up separately here. And, uh, because I think that looks pretty cool there. Yeah, I hope uh, that was helpful. I hope it uh, cleared some things up. If you, because I'm sure you've seen this in a lot of videos, probably seen a lot of my videos. Um, so, yeah, hope you guys have fun uh, designing stuff. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye.